What's up, you guys? My name is Quincy Gardner, and today I want to show everyone how to uh, grade uh, cinematic style for this particular shot. It's the very first scene of my film, and I know a lot of you guys have seen films that set in the snow. Uh, things like movies like The Thing, Thirty Days a Night, which Thirty Days, 30 Days a Night personally is my favorite film, though. So I had some footage right here, and I actually wanted to, I guess, <clears throat> play around with you, uh, uh, with you guys, and actually show you guys what I go through. So the very first effect that I'm going to use is the tent effect. Uh, I love the tent effect. It's one of my favorite effects. Uh, I don't see a lot of people use it. I don't know why. It's it's just a really it's a great effect. I don't know why people don't use it that much though, but I love using it to start off. And what the thing about it is, let's put this at 10%. The thing about it is it's really just a gradual effect that can really, you know, help it can really really help you though so next thing you know I'm gonna I'm gonna use a curve so I can get a I'm gonna put an S curve on my curve to kinda get that little that little filmic look contra contrasty look kinda going on here so there we go and also I'm gonna put another another tent effect I like to stack my tents uh, on top of each other so let's say we're gonna do Say so we'll do 29%. How about that? Uh, we'll do 29%. Uh, let's see. Let's change this a little bit. All right. There we go. All right. So we'll do 29%. What I'm going to do next, uh, I'm going to use the color balance tool. Well, no, no. Actually, before anything, though, let's raise the highlights first, though, because our scene's a little dark. So I'm going right, to go right back and use the Levels tool again to raise my highlights. So there we go. Before and after. So I raise the highlights to pull it right back so it won't be so dark. And now I'm going to use the Color Balance tool so I can kind of change these shadows, kind of change these shadows to... Little bit bluish color, so I'm gonna I'd say maybe 36 and then pull out some red so I can get it more bluish. And so now, from using the color balance tool, you see it immediately makes a difference uh, from there to there. Now we ha actually have that look going on. So, color balance tool, and then uh, I'm gonna grab the levels once more and this time manipulate the shadows once more. So now you can see it's total it's 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 a total difference now. So uh, let's see before and after. So be before, after, before and after, before and after. So it really makes a difference. And another thing to I guess add dramatic effect. I want to add some snow to the scene. So let's see. Number one thing I want to do. All right, so number one thing I want to do, let's 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 do this first. You know what? I'm I'm too lazy to, to uh, mask out the windshield wiper, so we'll just do it before the windshield wiper, because I don't want to waste you guys' time. Just want to show you guys a quick uh, how I go about <clears throat> color grading my footage, and this is a beautiful shot. So next thing you want to do, I want to add some snow. You know, for more there's snow, but I want to add more snow. So uh, let's add in snow and. If you guessed it, yes, I'm going to be using Trap Call Particular. Uh, awesome, awesome plugin. So, velocity for motion, I'm going to put zero, distribution, uh, zero, zero. I'm going to crank the velocity up to, I'd say, like 300. Uh, let's see. I'm going to, my emitter size, you can scroll through it faster if you hold shift and then scroll. So, that's what I'm doing right now. And then my emitter size is Y. And then we're going to do that. So uh, particles per second. Let's crank that out to 400. Next thing you know, I'm going to go to physics and air. Air, uh, I'm going to do our wind Z, and we're going to do the opposite. Also, we're going to turn motion blur on this layer. And we're going to crank this. Matter of fact, let me play with velocity also. Uh, there we go. All right, yeah, we're going to do velocity. Let's see. So let's put it our emitter point up here. And actually, you know what? 
Uh, let's take velocity off and then let's go back to physics and yeah we get a much better result we'll yeah we'll crank on physics yeah yeah we're, we're gonna crank on physics okay cool so okay we'll crank we're gonna crank on physics and then we'll add we'll add in a little bit of velocity but not too much because it starts spinning around the place uh, and I really just did not like that though so and then we'll push the wind there and then I guess I'll add in a little spin frequency so they can kind of spin around some so uh, let's see how that looks uh, bring the layer there all right let's see how that snow looks Uh, hold on. Number one thing also, let me change the color of the snow. Obviously, that's a little bit too white. So, let's change the color of the snow. All right, it's a little bit better. And also, let me change the opacity. Well, crank up the size random from one. And then the opacity. 50%. It's a little bit too strong. So yeah, there we go, there we go. Matter of fact, let's change the opacity to 30, to, I'm sorry, not five, but actually 35. So change the opacity to 35 so it can actually blend in with that snow. So uh, let's do a RAM preview, see how that looks. And this is just, you know, I'm using particulate just to add to the effect of the snow that's already there, just to bring it out more. That's all I'm doing, uh, that's all I'm doing, so. Holy crap, that's fast. Um, let's just do okay <laughs> yeah that was, wow that's a little too all right so now i'm gonna i'm doubt it back to negative five thousand so let's see how that is ah god it's just way too slow okay okay we'll do that crank the velocity up to 200 all right so anyways oh yeah and then we'll just We'll just crank down this opacity. We'll, we'll crank down this opacity to 25. So before, so yeah, we'll, and then let's just add in a little bit more snow. There we go. There we go, just to add dramatic effect. So the next thing you know, I wanna add a vignette, uh, use vignettes, but uh, sparingly, every scene does not require a vignette. And also uh, you can't go crazy with a vignette can't let it you know when people notice a vignette then it's really ugly so uh, the vignette I just double click on the oval tool and then I'm, I'm just gonna uh, add a levels and then just drop the midtones well the midtone control also you want to do is feather this I'm gonna feather the 300 so there we go so it's a uh, you know gradual uh, gradual vignette but it kind of it's just a little difference can't really tell that much next thing you know let's add as also uh, let's add in a letterbox. We'll create a letterbox. This is really just no real <laughs> measurement. I'm just gonna do just simple. I'm just gonna use. We'll use the title frames right here. I guess for like a little letterbox. I mean, this is just a crude letterbox. Uh, subtract. There we go. All right. So then there goes our letterbox, and there's our scene. So. Let's render this out and see how it looks. And I guess you guys can see my render settings. Uh, let's call this snow scene. So I render out to my hard drive. I'm gonna do this again. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna render out to Apple ProRes the 4444. Actually got this these settings from Cheyenne Storm from ColorGear.com. So I'm gonna put a link to his website below. Uh, no audio output. Uh, Change it to trillions of covers because I'm, work, I'm working in a 32-bit color space, color management. When it convert to linear light, I go to off. And then this is, again, is Apple ProRes 4444. So, okay. And then let's render it out and see how our scene looks.
All right, guys, we're back. So finished rendering that out, and this is our finished product. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Uh, technically, I would probably tone down on the particular, but uh, this is a quick, rough, you know, crude. And uh, obviously, if I had more time, I would definitely just tweak the particular systems a little bit more because it's like flying and hit us in the face, some kind of 3D movie. But uh, this is that is that is our scene right there so let's check out let's check this out so uh, this is before and this is after that's before and this is after so I uh, hope you guys learned a little bit of something this is this is how I go about doing my uh, color grades uh, just the use of tints curves you know levels color balance you know, vignettes and so it's just some of this stuff I don't exactly expect you to do it the the way I did it uh, I would hope that you would just take these, you know, take these different tools and just kind of do your own thing. So I hope this tutorial helps someone out there. And uh, thank you guys for listening. I'll definitely give you guys more tutorials. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.